Hi guys, welcome to Senfolio. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're talking about five Paris Corner Killer Oud series, which are worth buying and which is a must buy. You gotta buy them at some point of time in life, what I would suggest. Uh, one of my favorites, you know, I have been through pretty much all the lineup of Killer Oud. And this is my five favorites, which are my go-tos, and that's what I keep on picking up the most. And I'll tell you the reason why. Let's get into this. First off, let's kick off things with Jubilant. This is Killer Oud jubilant nice charcoal textured box and uh you know pretty much standard stuff that killer oud series does have a uh, like a podium based uh, boxes with a cover on top nothing special i'm not a great huge fan of the bottles and the kind of like a sticker or paint whatever they use on their bottles this is jubilant pretty standard basic stuff uh not much of a you know uh, a really interesting presentation here so apart from this tassel that they <laughs> for us to play with i guess okay so let's get into this so there is no rating to be honest it's not like one to five or five to one these are just my random five picks which i think are worth buying uh when it comes to killer oud series obviously uh there are sand profiles which were not for me which i have disregarded but these are the ones that are i picked up but again not in a uh, you know chronological order here as in uh, you know rated from five to one or one to five randomly because each one is different their own they're doing they're doing their own thing so respect to that so let's get into jubilant jubilant is a mature scent first off let's get that out of the way it's 25 plus in terms of age yes easily unisex ladies and gents you guys can rock this easily um if you are the reason why i'm saying it's it's a mature scent is it's a power pack of spices here so we do have warm spices it's not a fresh spicy uh scent it is not a freshy in the end of the day it's a sweet warm spicy scent that i would say that's the main accord the main profile of this scent Obviously, yes, it is an inspiration or a clone or a dupe of uh, Amouage Jubilation. Spicy notes are pretty interesting and mature. It is mesmerizing. It is attractive. It is crowd pulling. So the reason why this is one of my favorites from the Killer Oud is that because of its honey note, its muskiness, its warm spiciness, pepperiness when i say warm spicy it comes up tons of stuff but what i get is spears are good in these in these lines um we all know this by now uh nothing wrong it is a pretty successful line though okay the main accords citrus on top pop is citrusy it's lemony that i get Peppery, black peppery. Yes, labdanum. <sighs> and I think lemon is making, make, mixing up with coriander. So yes, I do get that. Lemon, coriander equal to mint. So I do get a bit minty, lemony pop here. Great, good start. But again, decent and dense not an aquatic not a blue not a freshy pop here and black pepper keeping it everything controlled here the orange the uh, uh the coriander the minty part dies down or fades away in a few minutes i would say when i say few minutes it's not like about first few five ten minutes it still stays for like i would say 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes so let's say let's say half an hour a bit and then the honey part comes in not overly honeyed here not an angel share uh, not an insurrection 
or pure Havan kind of a touches here, but pretty dense honey, a powdery kind of a honey. So because obviously we're, it is mixing up with frankincense as well. So it's, it's a dense kind of like a honey, like mature take on honey. Um, and then, you know, the cinnamon pops in, the rose, the clove, these are two, um, I mean, orchids, that not nice floral sitting in the background, not interfering with the, you know, with the, with the spices. So they are in the background. They are, you know, pretty smooth and out so, and nothing's pop. It, it's not a floral scent in the end of the distance. So that will, that should clear that up. Uh, so, but complimenting for sure. And in a beautiful way, then we've got celery seeds, guyac wood, sandalwood, uh, cedar wood, uh, not sandalwood, sorry, cedar wood, guyac wood. And then we've got moss on the earthy side. So this is, I would say this is a green scent. A mature green sweet scent, which is right in the borderline of, you know, uh, green and uh, blue and uh, mature and uh, sweet. It's not a dirty, earthy green scent, which is going to put you off. This, this is a, again, this is an interesting take. Absolutely crowd puller. So, but again, mature audience, they're going to appreciate this, this. So give this a shot. This is one of my go-tos. Mature scent, absolutely office scent at the same time. Um, it does pull out in terms of siage and projection in the first two to three hours. But the overall life of the scent is, I would say, five to six hours, to be honest. That is the only part that um, I wish it would have stayed longer. But that's fine. I mean, uh, considering the amount of spice it has, considering the amount of job this is doing, and with that transitional qualities, I think this is playing its role pretty decently within that five to six hours range. So, respect to this. Apart from the longevity, I have no complaints. Uh, well, longevity is also not a complaint for me because, I mean, you know what? Sometimes I do wear multiple scents in a day. <sighs> and I enjoy that way. I want my day scents to die by the day ends and then my night scents and my evening wears and all that good stuff comes out with the different stuff. I am a reviewer at the end of the day, so I gotta be like using multiple scents in one day just to get the best of it, you know, every other day. If I like it or not, like that's one drawback of being uh, you know, in this hobby of reviewing and speaking your heart out what you what you are wearing, whether you like it or not, you still have to try it, right? So, anyways, you guys are lucky, man. Trust me. Um, yeah, so that's basically Jubilant um, Killer Oud. Let's jump off to the next one. Next up, what we have is, again, very interesting. I would say date night or a casual romantic evenings kind of aware uh this is a love from the middle east it's like a it's like a present it's like a gift to the western world that a, from middle east from the Mid middle eastern market that you know enjoy this and uh this is again a clone of show part Uth maliki which i have this here i also did a side by side with the killer oud death by oud which is you know um a beautiful romantic date night oudy ambery kind of a scent so um i did a side by side and this is pretty much 85 to 90 percent sane to be honest um although this again this is more denser and this has this has more longevity by the way as compared to the show part this is still good but more like a four or five hours of uh, uh, fragrance again great juice though um, and then I'm glad they did uh, a kind of uh, you know inspiration they, they, uh, cl they cloned this and then added a little more intensity and depth to it so that it stays more longer but again not too long I still I love the DNA of this scent, so I still wish it would have lasted 12 hours. 
but this goes on up until I would say seven to eight hours max. Um, again, I wish this would have that would have been more, but uh, this is a frosted, nice, beautiful looking bottle. Uh, again, pretty much the same shape as the Killer Oud series they have with the same kind of a cap. Okay, I did Jubilant over there, so I'm gonna use... The only thing that I would say is uh, it does feel a bit synthetic, a bit alcoholic in the, in the beginning, in the start with the few, for first few bursts. Within a few seconds, it does settle down. And then actually starts, uh, you know, exhibiting its its, its quality. So um, be mindful of that. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, so let's begin the notes. Let's begin. Let's see what the pop, the mids, and the dry down is all about. Let's get into this. So in the pop, we do have grapefruit. It is a citrusy pop. It is a, a lemony pop at the same time. It is, but the, but, but the notes are actually leaning towards grapefruit. And then we have lavender, a beautiful, beautiful mixture of lavender, grapefruit, um, and artemisia. So these three form, it's not a my complex scent. It, it's not like a massive notes, um, you know, uh, database over here in this, in this profile, but a nice citrusy pop with beautiful florals lavender is the king here that i would say and uh, um artemisia that, that that basically you know blends it's a good blend nothing's standing out nothing is net, you know here and there but at the same time i would say the heart notes the mid notes which are also complementing the, the the pop tobacco beautiful combination with 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 the, with the citruses you do get good amount of spices over here, even in the pop. What I get is black pepper, a bit of cinnamon, good blend. And the good thing is it's the undertone of this, this profile is leather. So, I mean, think about leather in a way as a balancing note, any scent that has leather or uh, even a you know a minimal amount of leather it's just going to hold all the notes and it's you know it's going to keep everything grounded on on er, on you know uh, which is great which is beautiful because in the end of the day you know you do need that density which you know leather adds to it and obviously i do find a bit of yes we have oud here so so i was just wondering where is the oud here so we do have oud and then we have we do have dark woody notes over here with a bit of an amber green so this scent is not losing its depth all the way in all the phases there is something to boost it up and to keep it up so your scent will be recognized this again seven to eight hours of longevity in this time your scent profile which you're carrying on yourself is always going to be uplifted by some notes getting into the way at some point of time so in the beginning you do have that grapefruit that is that keeping that poppiness up in the in the heart notes you do have some spices that keep that is keeping that black pepper and cinnamon keeping that you know that zesty kind of a pop which is uplifting from tobacco and leather because these both are dense notes again in the base notes though although you've got ooh you've got dark woods but then you have ambergris which is again a, a you know a zingy tingy kind of a note which actually pops or lifts the whole profile up so interesting take Again, something Middle Eastern about this scent, about Killer Oud, Death by Oud, is one, it does has Oud. So, you know, luckily we're gonna find a note which resembles, you know, or, you know, aligns to, to the name. But then again, Oud done in, in a beautiful way. So Oud done in a more of a, I would say floral way, more of a lavender way. Um, yeah, I mean, not a skanky oud, which, you know, usually people run away with. 
this is a sweet scent in the end of the day. This is a beautiful date night scent in the end of the day. <sighs> yeah, good stuff here, mature stuff here. Um, this is something that you can easily make your signature scent. Again, show part, Oud Malaki has been on that A list for so many years and still is a star when it comes to that creamy, ooh, the Middle Eastern vibe. So same thing you're gonna have here. So you're gonna have that, you know, creamy, ooh, the uh, woodsy, beautiful. Ambergris is, is, is again, a beautiful complimenting factor over here. So don't miss out on this if you don't have this. This is, again, um, absolutely beautiful scent. Um, as I said, a beautiful combination of the Middle East and the West. So, I mean, if you if you want to get into the Udi world, if you want to get into the dark, deep, dense scent, this is a good start. I mean, scents like this, there are other scents as well, but that this would come into that category where you can start off that journey. This, again, I would say a mature scent. So anything, anyone, 25 plus will rock this will enjoy this to the fullest uh but pretty unisex ladies you're gonna love this too so enjoy the playing of this tassel while you grab this take care guys and let's move on to the next one all righty so let's call this love in the air so obviously you know we, we are talking about some beautiful super crazy lineup from crazy uh from killer Ood, crazy Ood, from killer Ood. um and obviously we're talking about the worth ones the worth having ones and you know we're talking about i mean you are missing out because these are cheap they are cheap 35 40 bucks canadian some are even cheaper than that 25 27 28 bucks um i i guess pretty much everything is available on fragrance buy and if you're still not, you know, having this in your collection, then obviously, yes, you are missing out on these beauties. Right now, we have Knights of Arabia. Nice, bright red, lipsticky, shiny, all that stuff. Standard bottle with the tassel and the same cap. This is an iris. Love. A sweet, floral, irisy and dance at the same time beautiful fragrance this is and perfectly perfectly unisex this is um this is something that i would like to smell on other on my partner and i'm sure that's the vice versa the same case um you know um uh, with 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 the smell on on me and then you know the this is an attraction machine. Beautiful pop of saffron, beautiful pop of juniper berries. Nice, uh, there's, there is a note of uh, pom pomelo. I'm not sure what that is, but it does have black or violet. So forget the violet, we're dealing with black violet here. So again, dense, dark, deep floral note nice sweetness sweetness is perfect here saffron amazing you, you know much has been said about saffron then we've got to control the scent to keep it everything grounded and well balanced you know we can't be going crazy with the florals and sweetness here leather beautiful leather here uh, very i would say minimal not noticeable leather here to be honest it's not one of those leathers which you will enjoy after ignoring all the other chords no this is going to sit behind and do its job <clears throat> in the base we've got cashmere and then we've got raspberry again a poppy note but then we've got whatever again a balancing note to that pop so whatever is again not that earthy not that dirty not that grassy but I think whatever here is doing a job of, of, of woods, to be honest. Just keeping this, the, the scent balanced and beautiful at the same time. Yeah, so I think you will pick on raspberry for sure. I'm picking up right now, although it is a base note. 
in the in the dry down it's beautiful you're gonna pick up on cashmere and cashmere again a very soothing note a very comforting note by nature uh its properties is you know very comforting and soothing for for human mankind so that is something that you're gonna feel more relaxing more calm and you know it's it's, it's just alluring i would say so um and then um yeah they've got they've got crystal rose over here as well in the mids so that black violet and and crystal rose both beautiful beautiful dance floral notes are getting balanced by leather accords in the mids the leather i do find it here in the pop as well just a bit but it's gonna pop up more get enhanced in the mids and the dry down but not to an extent that's going to distort the full sweetness of the scent that's the beauty of this it's not a leather based scent in the end of the day it is a sweet floral scent iris is something very balanced absolutely gorgeous romantic scent puts you in the mood it's just you know calms you it's it's just more like a uh, um like a cuddly kind of a more comforting and more of a like a cozy kind of a scent so don't miss out of this again beautiful scent can go wrong it is an inspiration of black saffron by by Rado. so you can't go wrong in there um again more amp top on iris and um sweetness all right guys so let's get into the fourth one. Oh boy okay so fourth we have killer oud midnight ecstasy this is a beautiful gold black matte finished casing again same thing pops up like that we've got a gold black bottle right here uh, uh, this is a crazily amazing scent to be honest i'm not sure what this is duping but beautiful atomizer good distribution but this is i'm gonna leave it again all you know for most of the series here but the killer oods or other paris corner stuff I do find a bit of an opening alcoholic in pretty much all Paris Corner stuff, just an FYI. That's my experience, which I just, you know, just letting, letting it out for a few seconds though. <clears throat> so do not judge in the future, um, especially the Paris Corner ones in the first sniff or just get immediately your attention towards your strip or your skin um, because they do tend to settle down and then shine and tend to take their time so so here we go so this is dark this is dense this is incense this is rosy Oh, very comforting. This is a very comforting scent. This is like a like a laundry comfort or smell, like usually you get in the hotels. With some rose in it, with some pepper, some spices, some some good spices here, but nothing overkilling or nothing pungent very smooth oh my god this is the smoothest of all comforting very comforting very uh alluring very cuddly kind of a scent here absolutely romantic absolutely gorgeous beautiful let's get into the notes um we do have black pepper on the top which is fine, perfect. We do have rose. Uh, we do we do have a bit of a oudy notes here, um, and then um, there are not much of a notes here. I, I don't think I was able to find much of notes here, but it is leaning into the perf perfumes de Marly, Carlisle kind of category. So it is dark, it is dense, but at the same time, it's a bit sweet. Not not overly sweet. It is a bit sweet, more of a like a dark powdery yes that's the comfort coming from 
it does have some nice floral notes as well which i can't really point out i think it has <sighs> i think it has saffron i think i'm not sure because i can't find it so i have to go by my nose i think it has saffron done in a very dense beautiful way with a bit of an iris with some some amount of iris but not loud very minimal good amount of powdery notes here <sighs> olibanum yes and smoky incense a very comforting and very alluring so this is something that um again you'll sniff and people around you will get attracted come to you and try to figure out that what is it and everyone's gonna pick something else so there's it's it's a bit complex in that way or i would say versatile in that way yeah you know what if i'm sniffing this from this distance i get something else some good rose powdery rose if i get closer i get incensey smoky incensey vibes here good saffron here this is beautiful i'm not sure what this is i gotta you know i might be doing a full review on this but for now this is a love so this is definitely part of this four which you should or you must have it's a must buy or any time in life make sure you get this <laughs> so this is killer oud midnight ecstasy i think the name is perfectly matching to the quality of this guy because no, it is all about midnight. It is all about us. I'm telling you that for sure. So, yes, that is my take. Longevity of this, my God. This is a 10-hour beaster. This is a good on longevity. I wore this the other day, and I really enjoyed my whole night. So, yes. But I did overspray that for sure. So, I, I, I went for 7. But this is, again, not one of those hard hitters. Not one of those pungent, dark, dense sense that actually that's are, that are loud as well so it's it's high is very smooth you know what i mean so it's 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 not like it's gonna be on your face or up on your nose and or you know a migraine -y kind of a scent or you know piss other people off and blow their noses noses no it's 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 pretty smooth in terms of it's you know going up um and reaching to a level where it spreads out and, and you enjoy uh it more than anyone else beautiful nice beautiful next up the last one the fifth one yes the fifth one and the last one in this in this top five series is the og the uh, the the killer ooh, the blue bottle which i don't have and i you know totally finished that off in my days this is i'm just gonna post a picture over here <clears throat> last but not the least the fifth one killer ooh, the og itself which is basically a clone of uh, Amwaj Interlude, um, which I don't have. Apparently, I, you know, finished my bottle back in my days. I'll just post the picture up here. <clears throat> Amazing day, night, cozy, warm, spicy fall winter fragrance, which will actually last up till seven to eight hours. Easily performance, not a problem. This has always been hyped up for cloning the interlude for that incense quality that beautiful sweetness um and all that good stuff the opening again is bergamot bergamot origamo and a bit of other spice at the same time so it is a spicy scent it is not a freshy it is a spicy scent but you know it just leans on the lemony or the you know bright citrusy but spicy pop and then in the bins we've got amber and then we've got incense and we've got a bit of some citruses and a bopinex and then the base we've got some leather we've got oud this was the time when leather and oud you know the middle eastern fragrances were being duped and this was the initial uh kind of a phase when the oud and the dupes were getting introduced to the world so yes it's been out there for for some time um and um and then we've got patchouli and sandalwood in the base so again a beautiful one of the beautiful blends are dupes of interlude man 
Um, it is a mature scent, again, 25 plus, because it has a good amount of spices, good amount of incense. This is an incense-based scent. So the category of this is not spicy, but incense spicy, and or a smoky incense spice type of a scent. So if you're into that kind of a category, unisex, obviously, I would say, because, you know, ladies do like all these, you know, dark, spicy notes and incense -y vibes and oud. So might as well just go for that. Um, if you, you know, if, if this, that, that sounds interesting. Incenses, again, oud, again, are, you know, some of these accords that the Middle Eastern, you know, market has introduced. And it's been used over there you know, on on daily on day to day basis within their homes and you know at their you know uh, workspaces and stuff like that. So they do burn out that you know frankincense you know uh, notes um, within their office space, and they food is like everywhere. Like you know, everyone's uh, you know familiar with food. They're, they're actually bathing with food all the time. So yes. So uh, again good decent nightwear i would say and fall intro kind of fragrance a so good online longevity and you can't go wrong when it comes to the interlude um interlude itself from awaj was was the a great hit on that time because of these notes and uh you know that brought a recognition to awaj brand from oman but anyway, so yeah, uh, so these are my five go-tos. I might have to order one interlude from, my, from the Killer Ood, the OG for myself. Uh, for now, I think I am enjoying Supremacy Incense, which is also uh, a dupe of interlude. Um, man, so that's about it guys and yes let me know if i'm missing out on something else because these are my favorites which i just want to like you know call it out but if you want me to put my nose on the other killer root series which i've been missing or haven't tried yet but are but are still worth including in this collection and and, and, and getting so yeah i mean let me know in the comments and uh, what do you think about these five let me know in the comments Make sure you guys subscribe and like because that really helps the channel to grow and then I can, you know, meet for me to invest in other scents and then kind of like I do a review for the community. Everyone's smelling good in the end of the day. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.